Now let us discuss about diode circuit, diode applications. In the topic of diode circuits. Now we are going to the diode applications. So as we uh, as we discussed earlier in the class, uh, diode is a uh, two terminal device, and which will have two operations, two operation regions. One is forward bias region, other one is reverse bias region. So when you see the characteristics of diodes, diode will have a ideal characteristics like this is when you take voltage versus current. So when you are applying voltage more than zero, then it will have very high current. When they are applying voltage less than zero, it will has having zero current. So it will pass the current in only one direction. Diode will pass the current only in one direction. So based on this characteristic of diode, we are having many applications of diode. So one of the, the applications of diodes will include rectifiers. Rectifiers means here uh, normally we will have uh, when you see the power supply voltage, power supply voltage is an alternating current. But when you use in digital circuits or electronic appliances, we require DC voltage. DC voltage means the average current is more than zero. The average current of the of the uh, the average current of the, the average voltage should be more than zero. So for that, we need to convert alternating current to the uh, DC current. So that we use rectifiers. And rectifiers are classified as half wave rectifiers as well as full wave rectifiers. So two classifications are half wave and full wave. Again in full wave we have two type of rectifiers. One is center tapped rectifier, other one is bridge rectifier. So these rectifiers will convert AC to the DC. That is one of the application of diode. And second application is clippers. Sometimes we do not require uh, some voltage portions that means the peak voltage we do not require or else negative peak we do not require. So we need to clip away the voltages, the, we need to clip away the voltages. So when you want to clip away the voltages we use clipper circuits. So let us take a sinusoidal waveform. So suppose this is a input sinusoidal waveform but we do not require the peak voltage. So I want to clip away this one. So I will use a circuit so that output will be like this. So here this is a positive clipper, this is a positive clipper. So this, uh, this circuit also will we can use the diode, Di we can use the diode and we will get this circuit and we can we will have positive clippers as well as negative clippers and we will have sometimes both side also will use the clipping. And third one is clamper, clampers. So clampers means when you take a waveform this average value is 0. Suppose you want to make this average value as 1 or else you are, this average value is a plus 1 or plus 2 or minus 1 or minus 2. So we need to change the average value of the current. That means if you take an input waveform like this but output waveform will be like this. So here if you observe this average value is so we clamp this to some voltage. So we will have positive clampers as well as negative clampers in this clampers. So all these circuits will be designed by the diodes. And our last one is voltage multipliers, voltage multipliers. So when you consider voltage multipliers, suppose when you take input voltage as Vm. So uh, now you want uh, input peak voltage is Vm, now you want to make it as 2 Vm or else you want to make it as 3 Vm. So then we use voltage doubler to make it as 2 Vm, we will make it as 3 Vm to make a voltage tripler or quadrupler to make 4 Vm. So this voltage multiplier will give a peak voltage as the multiple of that number. Okay. So these are the many applications of diodes we are having.